Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. (laughs) Happy Saturday. Hello, Scott Cooper. Thank you for being you and such a loyal. I don't know if loyal is the right word. Hey, Lynn, thank you for the heart on my video. You know what I'm going to say. Saturday morning. It's 8.16. I barely got started at 8.15. Good morning, Lynn. Uh, thank you for that like. Thank you for the love. I love the likes. I love the loves. Thank you, Deb, for watching and tuning in this week live. It's funny. Anyway, I better stay on path. Sometimes I start talking, blabbing, and I forget what I'm doing. It's Saturday morning. It's 8.16 a.m. And this is Saturday Morning Coffee with Ken. My name is Ken Tracy, for those of you that don't know, and I doubt there's many that don't know that, because you probably, if you're watching today, you've probably been watching for a little while. This is a little show <laughs> that hasn't been so little lately. I've gotten very verbose and very talkative and gone long. But anyway, it's a little show I started about two and a half years ago. I was going through some hard times, living in a dark apartment, not really loving where I was. And... Uh, uh always realized that talking about my stuff, my thoughts, my feelings made me feel a little better. And for some reason, I started doing it live on Facebook and uh, made me feel a ton better. And lo and behold, it seemed to, I don't know, resonate with the audience and make people watch and feel better. Maybe make them feel like they're not alone and that... Uh, you know, me, who usually has a big smile on his face, is always animated, always running around, uh, full of energy. I sometimes go through issues as well. And I think it, you know, resonates with the audience. Hopefully it does. I get a fair amount of viewers and always looking for more. I'd like to expand my audience, but I don't want to get too far ahead of myself because I've only been talking two or three minutes and I haven't even gotten to the most important part of this show. Uh, it's the coffee. And like I say every week, I hope wherever you are, whatever you're doing, whoever you're with, um, <laughs> you got a nice hot cup of coffee in front of you. And what I've known from doing that, learned from doing this show is not everybody's a coffee drinker, and that's okay. We welcome people of all, you know, all flavors. And so whatever you're doing, wherever you are, and whatever you got going, I hope you have a nice cup of coffee in front of you. If you don't, if you're drinking tea, milk, Juice V8 or whatever. Uh, Cheers to us. Drinking vanilla hazelnut this morning. Good morning, Christine. Thank you for watching. Good morning, Dave. Thank you for watching. Uh, I'm drinking vanilla hazelnut this morning. I uh, don't use it often. I've actually talked bad about it before. Good morning, Colleen. I got a friend from... Colleen, when did we know each other? Early 90s. A friend of mine from the early 90s just tuned in. And uh, uh, she and I touched base through a common Facebook friend. And, uh, you know, I haven't seen her in, I don't know, 25, 26 years at least. And uh, she just joined in. So thank you for watching, Colleen. This is whatever. you got to watch the intro. I'm not going to go through it again. But thank you so much for watching. And Deb, thank you for being here live. Uh, not vanilla hazelnut, vanilla something coffee. Uh, I've uh, spoken bad about the Keurig machine over periods of my life. I'm a guy that likes to consume a lot. I drink a lot of water. I drink a lot of coffee. Uh, I uh, uh, do a lot of things in excess. When I used to drink, and I say I used to drink, I'll get to that probably later. Used to drink a lot of beer. Always Heineken. Uh, and... Uh, Uh, So when I get started with my morning, I like to fill up a huge pot of coffee and drink it all. Uh, So I always thought the Keurig was kind of expensive and, you know, doing these individual cups for my coffee was going to, I don't know, cost a lot of money and create a lot of garbage that's going to end up floating around in this island in the Pacific Ocean polluting the world. And I didn't want to do that. But for whatever reason, I'm drinking from a Keurig, however you say it. A pot and it's vanilla coffee and I'm loving it. It's nice and hot and I'm gonna have my second sip. So you guys go ahead for watch for you that are watching. Have your second sip as well. Mm. Oh, 
Emily, I want to thank you for that like. I say it every week. I'm insecure. I do this show. I seem confident on it. I always seem confident on my videos. I write a ton of posts and share my emotions in ways most wouldn't. And uh, so I'm sure I come across as confident, but I'm as insecure as the next guy, even more so. Mr. Wicker, thank you for that. And thank you for all your love and support you give me throughout the week. Carlos, thank you for watching. And Christy, thank you for watching. Uh, where was I? Where was I? What I like to do whenever I don't know where I was is take another sip of coffee. So I'm going to do that. I'm three cups ahead. 14 grandkids to ship packages to. Awesome. I hear being a grandparent is one of the biggest blessings in life. I don't have any grandkids yet, which is fortunate because my oldest is 15. So she uh, had one at this time. I, I don't know what I'd do, <laughs> but I'm just glad she does it. She's a little young. But uh, I look to be look forward to being a grand bus someday. I love being a dad. Good morning, Kimberly. Probably one of the my favorite things I've ever done. Probably honestly, I think you know I've been I've done a lot of things fairly well over my life. But I think being a dad is one of the best things that I the things I am best at, if that makes sense to you. And I'm certainly not perfect. Certainly, I would like to have taken some things back and done some things differently over the year, but I lead with my heart, I lead with love, and I lead with encouragement to my kids and uh, hope to continue to, to do that uh, going forward. With that in mind, and I never know what I'm going to talk about on this show, but I get rambling, and suddenly half an hour goes by and I'm still talking, <laughs> so cut me off if that happens. But anyway, it's my dad's birthday today, and I wrote a post about it this morning. And for those that are watching and haven't read it yet, I'd recommend you go back and read it. I'm not going to talk through all the details, but I think it was well written. I think it was, babies don't care, we are imperfect. Yeah, that's true. Um, I think it was well written from the heart, uh, showed growth in my father, and showed, you know, hopefully... Something that inspires me to write, inspires me every day, watching my dad become a better man, even, uh, you know, he's 81 today. Happy birthday, Dad. And, uh, you know, he hasn't stopped improving. You know, I know he slowed down and probably spends more time on the couch than he used to. Uh, but he's still becoming a better man every day. And I'm trying to pattern myself after my dad, who's 81 today, and I love him very much, and become a little bit better every day as well. And I bring up this story a lot. My dad gives advice. And honestly, his advice isn't always spot on. But he tries. <laughs> but And a few years ago, we were sitting at breakfast. And uh, we were talking. I was going through some hard times. I bring up hard times a lot. I promise there's a lot of happiness in my life. But <clears throat> I think reflecting back on the hard times uh, gives you an opportunity to work on those issues that brought you to those times and hopefully make you a better person. So anyway, I was sitting uh, over breakfast with my dad a few years back and I was going, Dad, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. And he goes, well, just keep moving forward, you know, step by step, a little bit every day. And really has inspired me and stuck with me today, till today, uh, all these years later. And I continue to live by that and you know, keep moving forward and keep doing my best a little bit more, you know, getting a little, making progress every day. And not every day is perfect. And I say this all the time and I'm never going to be perfect. And sometimes growth is like this up and down and up and down. And for me, it sure has been. Uh, but again, I think there's lots of room for growth for all of us. And uh, I tell you what, it feels better when you're uh, striving for something and trying to be better and trying to do good things and trying to be positive impact on those around you, on those you love, on those you don't even know, and on the world in general. And uh, it's hard fixing the world, saving the world. Sometimes I try and do that and I get overwhelmed. I get dejected because I go out with all this spirit and zest for life and sometimes the world takes a poop on me. <laughs> and I get sad and bummed and what have you. But, you know, I sh get myself back up, knock, brush off the dirt, 
and uh, get back to it. And a friend was telling me, you can only take care of your side of the street, keep your patio or your sidewalk clean, and uh, do your best uh, in your life and for those that you love and those that are around you. And uh, uh, hopefully that will, you know, have a butterfly effect, I guess it is, on the rest of the world. And that's my hope. So let's have a little bit more coffee. Mm. How are you guys doing? Did you have a good week? You have a good weekend planned? You excited about your day? You excited about your weekend? Are you proud of who you've been this week? What other questions do I have for you? If you guys have any questions, feel free to shoot them out because I like to make this interactive. I like to bring, bring people to bed, uh, bleh, bleh, together. And I feel uh, this show does that a lot. And it makes me feel good when I see little conversations being had amongst you guys uh, and uh, uh, as I move forward. So what am I talking about? I'll talk about my week. I like to reflect on my week. My week was great. It was great. I woke up every day. Not every day. I woke up jumping out of bed and springing out of bed. But almost every day, I woke up after solid night's sleep and good night's rest with dreams, silly dreams, and laid in bed, was enjoying the comfort of the bed and my surroundings and the darkness and the warmth and cuddly feeling of my blankie, counting the days until we see the grandkids. Deb, how many days is that going to be? More grandkid talk. Sure, it's awesome to be a grandparent. But uh, so every day I've woken up feeling pretty good. <sighs> and I lay in bed and thank God for the warm blanket and the comfort of the pillow or the bed I'm in or what have you or my day or think about some blessings and think about stuff a little bit. And then I've reached over almost every day this week because a thought will come to my mind and the words will start coming, running through my mind and I go, wow, this is a good thought. These are good words. <laughs> Let's write them down. Okay, well, Dad, that's awesome. Uh, what is that? Could be the 17th. So you got him a week before Christmas. Uh, uh, happy days to you and your husband, because I know he's watching too. Um, yeah, so every morning I wake up and, you know, not totally sure what my day is going to hold or where, what I'm going to do for the day or Appreciate the places you go. Give me an idea of places to check out. Thanks. Okay. Christine, I hope you had a wonderful walk at Dineda. I hope the, not at, yeah, Dineda. Hope the weather was nice. The sun was shining and the horses were out because it's a really beautiful place. I have a friend from high school that just chimed in. Uh, one of the things I've been doing a lot of this week and I'm jumping ahead. So I won't. I'm going to stop this story and I'm going to finish what I was saying. Almost every morning this week, I have, uh, uh, started my day off, first of all, with gratitude and feeling thankful for things and feeling good about things and feeling positive about where I am. I got a pretty tight morning routine. Uh, real quickly, I'll just knock off a few things I do every morning to get me started. Uh, I wake up, I think about gratitude. Over the last six weeks, I've added uh, taking about half an hour to write my thoughts down and write them in a way that I'm proud of, and write them in a way that's real for me, and uh, edit them, and put a picture with them, and I posted them on Facebook every day this week, I think, and uh, a lot of days over the last six weeks, and that's a real important part of my morning routine. Then I get up, I brush my teeth, I make my bed, I spend about five or 10 minutes doing some gentle stretches. I'd call it yoga. It is yoga. I breathe. I focus on my breathing and I focus on my stretching and I really focus on just the feelings you get. You know, a lot of times you'll just go through the motions and do this or this or this or this or whatever. Uh, but I think if you're really focused and feeling within uh, and feeling the muscles move and the body move and you know, even if you're not in shape, and I'm not in great shape now, but it feels good, and your body feels alive, and the blood gets flowing, and that's all good. Uh, so that's what one of the things I do. Uh, there's a bunch of other stuff I do, uh, but maybe that's subject for another Coffee with Ken. Where was I? Oh, my week! My week! So I felt great this week, 
And everyone asks me, you know, I often ask, hey, how was your day? Or, hey, what do you got planned for the day? And oftentimes, you know, I'll have my work appointments for those that are watching. I'm a realtor. I sell real estate for a living. Uh, I do fairly well at it. But my passion is really sharing my experiences because I've got a lot of life experiences. And I like doing it here, uh, talking to a live audience on Facebook. Uh, I share these videos to a bunch of different pages I run and a d bunch of different local groups and they end up getting a pretty good audience and I'm hoping I make a difference and I guess that's what I enjoy doing. It sounds cheesy. I know we all want to make a difference, but I really do. It makes me feel good that I can uh, share my experiences in a way that resonates with people uh, through video or through writing and I've really been doing a hell of a, a heck, heck of a lot of it the last six weeks and uh makes me feel good. It makes me feel excited about my day and makes me feel I'm living a life with purpose. And my brother Steve once said, life's a heck of a lot more fun if you're excited about things. And I know in periods of my life, I've just kind of gone through the motions and floated along and woken up kind of in a fuzzy haze from being out the night before and gotten in the shower and brushed my teeth and gone to work and done my work and uh, come home and gone out again and repeated the process the next day. And that's a crappy way to live. It's going through life like a zombie. Thank you, Deb. I appreciate it. Some of them, I think, were really good and didn't get much reading. I think I'm throwing out such... Deb just said she really just enjoyed my Facebook posts, my writing. And I wrote a couple that I thought were really good that didn't get a whole lot of love, but whatever. That's okay. Uh... So anyway, I wake today, every not today, every day, again, with a little bit of gratitude. I write, I take, you know, half an hour or so, uh, writing my thoughts down on whatever comes to my mind. You know, it could be anything, big or small. Uh, you know, yesterday, last evening, I got inspired. I wrote a, what I'd say is a really cool post about a rejection letter I received. Uh, I'm jumping ahead and I'm realizing I've already talked for 18 minutes. I'm going to try and keep it to half an hour, but sometimes it's hard and I don't want to bore you, but I guess you guys can tune off if you're bored. Um, I've been shooting a ton of videos as well as writing. And it's a mix of videos like this that are personal and heart opening and hopefully somewhat inspirational. Uh, and a mix of videos that are kind of cool places to be in and around Naperville. And I love my city of Naperville. I, I've grown up in Illinois. I grew up in Downers Grove, lifelong resident of the western suburbs. I uh, don't love everything going on with our state and our politics these days, but uh, try not to focus on that. Good morning, John. Try not to focus on that and keep doing positive things. Again, I got to take care of my side of the street and not get brought into politics or into the news or into the things going on in the outside world. Because honestly, I can't control that. I can only control what's in here and my immediate surroundings and those people I love. So, uh, where was I? Oh, shooting a lot of videos of Naperville and around. I think they're probably good for my business. I think they probably draw viewers in that probably live in homes and will eventually want to buy and sell homes. And people do business with people they know, like, and trust. And I feel me being me, whether it's this type of video or me being guy on the street at a cool event or a cool business or a cool restaurant or a you know cool park in Naperville. I did one, uh, really a beautiful one, uh, when I was at Denada. Uh, I've got a very dear friend who volunteers her time at Denada, loves horses, loves working with horses. I tease her, you know, she's my age. She spends a lot of time shoveling poop in the barns. Horse poop. <laughs> Makes me laugh a little bit. <laughs> Seems I could have a young, strong guy to do that. But anyway, she likes it. And again, loves volunteering. And volunteering's an important thing in her life. And she loves nature and horses and animals. And, uh, uh, you know, she goes out and shares that gift with the world every day. So kudos to her for doing that. But anyway, she volunteers her time at Denada. Uh, I had only been to, it's in Wheaton, it's right on the border of Wheaton and uh, Naperville, and uh, it's a beautiful place. I don't know, did I do it on Monday? I think I shot it on Monday. It's just a beautiful place. It feels like you're in Kentucky, and I was there on a cold and kind of windy day, but the sun was shining, and uh, it's just so perfect, and the horses looked beautiful, and they're, they were, they're 
their skin or their fur or hair or whatever it is, hair, I guess, was glistening in the sun. And I felt like I was in Kentucky and totally away from Illinois and just in a different world. And it was awesome. And I shared that in a video. And one of my friends from high school, Christine, uh, wrote that she's been looking for a place to walk. And I ride my bike that way so much. Good, Lynn. It's awesome over there. There's a lot of awesome places. And it felt good knowing that something I did or something I said, uh, good, I hope he's strong and can shovel a lot of poop, Lynn. Um, uh, something I did uh, mattered to somebody watching so much uh, that they actually did it. <laughs> I give lots of words of wisdom on these things, but I'm oftentimes don't think anyone actually follows them along. Uh, that's okay. Everyone can get out of it what they want. But it felt real good seeing somebody take action. And she and her husband went and had a beautiful walk, I hope, at Denada. And uh, again, shot a lot of live videos this week. Mostly, almost every day. And it's felt good. It's given me excitement. And I realized it's, I'm passionate about it. I'm passionate about sharing experiences and life. And hopefully some words of inspiration and words of enthusiasm and words of excitement. And I guess that's what makes me feel good and really, I don't know, what's the expression? Drives me and makes me excited. So every day when I wake up, you know, I don't exactly know the agenda for the day always. You know, I usually have an appointment or two here and there that'll structure my day a little bit, but there's a lot of gray time uh, in between those appointments. Somebody just liked it. Thank you for liking, thank you for loving. And if anybody ever likes what I'm saying enough to share my video, I'd love to be in front of a larger audience and uh, hope to be because I hope I have a message that's worth sharing, whatever that message may be, or a little bit of energy that's worth sharing. And I'm wanting to share and put it in front of a lar as large of an audience as possible, which brings me back to another thought. I did a live video, as many of you may have seen because you seem to watch my videos. Let's have a little more coffee because I'm going to talk for a few more minutes. Mm. Uh, outside of Naperville Center, uh, Naperville City Television, NCTV 17. I did a live video there the other day. Uh, talked about how I wanted to put my message, whatever it is, in front of a bigger audience. And I thought, you know, reaching out to a local broadcast station might be a good solution. Uh, and I did that. And I shot the video. And I was inspired. And I was excited to go and shake hands and hug some people and tell them my story. Tell them how much I wanted to do it. I do it for free. <laughs> so I went up to the door. It was kind of dark in there. And I pulled on the door and it was locked. I don't know if they were out, <laughs> out to lunch. <laughs> or just they keep their doors locked. I don't know. If I ran a business, I do run a business. But if I had an office... I wouldn't lock my doors. I'd want people to come in and see what we're doing and see what we're about and see what we offer to the society and community. So I found it kind of strange the door was locked. And I followed my visit. I do this a lot. I don't know if it's always appropriate. Uh, I followed up my visit with an email to the program director at the... Uh, at the station and uh, sent her one of my videos from YouTube and yeah, she rejected it. She rejected me, but she did it really sweetly. She did it very kindly and she did it with encouragement. So I thought that was nice. And I took, I very much appreciate her taking the time. You know, I'm sure we've all been there sending out when we're a little younger or whenever we're looking for a job or whatever, sending out resumes, putting all this thought into it and writing these heartfelt letters or business professional letters and putting all the time into the resume and doing all this stuff and sending out a million of them and gearing nothing in response. <laughs> Sometimes it feels like nobody's listening and nobody cares about what you're doing. So just her taking that little action and responding to my uh, indication of interest or my inquiry um, made me feel good. And encouraged me enough to write a cool post about it last night. So uh, that was fun. And it, I felt the post made me more inspired to keep doing what I'm doing. And hopefully anybody reading it felt that inspiration to, you know, to know that we all get knocked down from time to time. 
Uh, and what do they say? It's not how many times you've been knocked down, but it's how many times you get back up. And uh, that's one thing I'm really proud about myself. Uh, I'm pretty darn resilient, pretty determined, uh, you know, pretty excited about things. And I think I look at my daughter, Erin, you know, she's not the most talented runner, the most smartest kid in school, but she tries real hard and she shows up every day and she loves what she does. She loves, well, she loves school. She kind of loves school. She likes school. School's kind of hard to love sometimes, but she loves running and, you know, loves being a part of the team and works really hard and feels the pride I want her to. And, you know, it's, for me, it's totally not about how fast she runs or if she wins a race or comes in last. It's, just being a proud dad, watching her uh, compete, watching her enjoy life and taking part in life experiences. And uh, it's especially cool when she does life experiences that were important to me growing up as well. So anyway, I don't know what I have for you today. I've almost talked a half an hour. I don't want to bore you with long, long coffee with Ken. seems like half an hour would be an ideal time. So I'm going to take a sip of coffee. If anything comes to my mind, I'll keep talking. If any of you guys have any questions about anything, I'll answer. But let's have a little more coffee. Mm. Oh, I'm going to take another sip. When I'm done with this and when I'm done talking to you, I'm going to go have another cup or make another pot. It might be hazelnut this uh, next cup. Looking forward to that. Looking forward to my day. I'm going to be driving out to Roscoe and having dinner with uh, my sister and one of my brothers and my dad celebrate his birthday. He can be a bit of a fuddy dud sometimes. He goes, there's going to be no presents and there's going to be no singing. Scott, I have a lot of visits with Augie. I have a lot of visits with Augie. It was great. <laughs> um, I try and see him every other day, sometimes more. And it's always great. He's always beautiful, but I'm wrapping it up. <laughs> uh, so I'm excited about that. I, uh, 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 excited about seeing my brother and sister too. And, uh, uh, yeah. And just having dinner. Not sure what it'll be like or where it'll be. My dad says it's fancy. I don't know how fancy. I don't know. He's, he lives in Roscoe. I don't know how fancy they get in Roscoe. Wonder what I'll have to wear. But looking forward to that. Looking forward to tomorrow. I'm looking forward to next week. I had a great week in the past, last week, and I'll have a great week going forward. And I know I wake up every day with a little bit of gratitude, a little bit of love in my heart and excitement for who I am and who I'm becoming. And that just feels so good to wake up like that. And believe me, there's times when I've been dark and sad. I've shared those posts. I was forced to delete them because they were so sad. But I found them again and I might share them again because I think they're very good and very important. <laughs> But anyway, uh, so it feels good to be excited. It feels good to have some gratitude. It feels good to live my dreams. I don't know if I'm living my dreams. Certainly not where I dream to be, dreamt to be at this time. I know I this isn't my final stopping point. I promise you that. But heading towards my dreams and heading towards my goals and living with some excitement. And I'd encourage you to do the same because it feels good. It feels good doing what you're passionate about, whether it's, Working with horses like my friend or writing cool posts or doing live videos. It feels good to be doing what you're passionate about and it feels good for me. So anyway, I'm going to leave you with that. It's been about half an hour and that seems the right amount of time for me. Um, I want to thank you guys for watching. I want to thank you for the loves, the likes, any shares I get on these videos. It means a ton to me and I look through whoever does it and I appreciate each one of you. I appreciate each one of you for watching. Uh, I encourage you to have a wonderful, wonderful day today. It looks kind of gray and windy and kind of poopy out, but that's okay. You can make the best of it. You can have a nice day inside with your family, drinking coffee or playing games or watching movies or going out to dinner with friends or family. I encourage you to do that. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful weekend going forward. You have an awesome, awesome next week. Uh, please, I'm going to continue writing and doing my videos. Please keep reading them and sharing them and watching my videos and hopefully gathering some inspiration because that's my intent by doing this. Um, so thank you.
and I hope you're doing well. I hope you have an awesome day today, an awesome weekend, and an awesome week ahead. Uh, I appreciate you. I appreciate you for watching, following along my story. And again, I hope you enjoy your day. And as always, I hope to talk to you soon. Bye-bye.